Just about to launch the kayak. I wasn't gonna go fishing, but the winds just let down. Tides are pretty high right now. That was a really steep drop. Wasn't expecting that. Feet are soaked. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. So this is a fun little trip in the Long Island Sound. The wind was pretty strong. It's been strong lately and the currents have been pretty strong as well. But I caught a few fish and it started off with a pretty decent little schoolie bass bite. They were hugging the bottom. They've been hugging the bottom lately around 12 to 20 feet early in the morning. So I was mainly jigging them with 3 8 and half ounce jigs with little swim shads and the forage was definitely sand eels. I was seeing some, some birds eating sand eels and uh, they were hugging the bottom and kind of just the marks of the bait that I was seeing did not seem like menhaden. So they were just kind of hugging the bottom and I was having fun jigging for them. Uh, but these are resident striped bass. These aren't the migrating ones. These will be here for the rest of the summer and through the fall and probably even the winter. They look a little bit different. They're sort of purple and golden. Lots of them have broken stripes. Most of the time they don't have lice on them. They're pretty clean overall, but they're, they're not very big. But for their size, they, they definitely fight. Um, they're not like the migrators, which are kind of like dead weight at first. Um, if you have the right setup, these can be super fun to catch. After that, I kind of started jig in for fluke and porgy once the bass moved out but the fluke have been pretty small lately they were all 15 to 17 inch range no keeper size but lots of porgy around there's definitely tons of fun with the porgy right now uh, just no real big fluke yet one kind of bummer that happened on this trip was I flipped the kayak for the first time. It was just strong winds and current, and when I went out, it wasn't so bad, but when I was coming in, it was pretty rough. So landing on the beach, uh, I just kind of got swept from under me. Uh, just the mixture of the undertow and the waves being inconsistent, not timing it correctly, and I just, yeah, I flipped. Uh, but everything was fine aside from, you know, my reels getting a bunch of sand in them and rocks, which can be cleaned. All my terminal tackle was fine. It's all in sealed cases. My camera stuff was put away already, which is in a Pelican case, which can get wet. You know, there was stuff kind of thrown about. Uh, but a couple of people on the beach helped me, which was really kind of them. And everything was fine aside from getting hit with something in the middle of my back, which I don't know what it was, probably the H crate or something. I'm fine. So, you know, it could have been a lot worse. But one thing that was super cool on this trip was I caught a Northern Kingfish on artificial. This is the second fish that I've caught on artificial on these small little shad. I caught a Tatog, actually two Tatog earlier in the season on this small little shad. And I don't know, it's just super fun to catch different species on artificial you know you can probably get these on bait a little easier but on artificial it's just super fun definitely rewarding but the kingfish is pretty cool um it's kind of like a little mini red drum with zebra stripes and um, they fight pretty hard for their size i wasn't sure the regulations when i caught this but they do taste pretty good apparently i've never had it but they do taste pretty good. And I'll next time I catch one, I'll probably take it home, do a little catch and cook. But always fun to catch something new with artificial lures. I think that's going to do it for this episode pretty quick. Hopefully I'll get my audio issues sorted soon. And we'll keep making these videos. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.